Hi guys, welcome to Strange Stuff, founder of PowerTheHabits.com. Today we have, we are on vlog number six, and we have Sambit, whose question is straightforward. How to lose a lot of fat? Uh, his single most health and fitness related challenge, you know, is a lot of belly fat and wants to, you know, get a more toned body and although not a bulky body and be more physically active. Here's the thing, you know, people think that, oh, I want to get a toned body, but I don't want to get bulk up. The fact of the matter is, shut up and just start inertia of motion, you just start moving. You will not get bulk up unless you're lifting, you know, heavy iron and stuffing yourself with so much more calories that your body can take. So don't let that, the idea that you will bulk up, stop you from doing some sort of, any sort of movement. First of all, you will not bulk up. You are fat because you've been eating crap and you have been sedentary for a long time. And that's not the kind of bulking you're talking about, right? You're talking about bodybuilder bulking. That's not gonna happen. So. How to lose a lot of fat, everybody tries to, you know, go to the gym membership, start working out and run. And this is a question I've already answered in a different vlog. Uh, but the fact of the matter is the easiest way to lose a lot of fat is to look into your life. Look into your health. Put, put health, see, health and fitness are different things. Your fitness is your athletic ability to do certain, you know, body movements. While your health is beyond that, your health is what is, is your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual well-being, you know, your, your circulatory system, your nervous system, your lymphatic system, your hormonal system. And people, you know, in today's world, the marketing tactics are being played against the consumers that everybody tends to think that if they don't have a gym membership, they're not working out, you know, they're unhealthy. No, it is not the fact. The fact of the matter is you start with your kitchen, you know, you see what are you eating on a consistent basis because you have to do something in order to be fat. You know, you didn't just wake up one day and you were just fat. Oh shit, what just happened? You have been doing something over the past years and you know, whether it was eating crap, whether it was, you know, just being sedentary but it's eating crap that actually contributes to having a lot of belly fat and fat all over you and it is inherently necessary for you to look at the food groups that you've been eating and also don't forget that you have to be conscious of the amount of oil that is in your food that is something that is highly prevalent in Indian food where I am from is the amount of oil people might be vegetarian but then they might still get heart attack at the age of you know 37 that happened to my dad and the fact of the matter is, it's the saturated fat that is so prevalent in the community, in the, in the, in the, you know, in the country with, you know, all this, uh, all this tempting food all around. Uh, but yeah, that, that's the way you lose a lot of fat is look into your nutrition, look into your hormonal system. You know, maybe you are stressed out of your job, you know, that leads to your high cortisol levels and your metabolism gets fucked up. You know, you're having shitty sleep. When everything, all the other parameters, you know, maybe your relationships are getting, you know, tense. All of this is uh, challenged. The easiest and the you know cheapest and the least friction way to do that is to look into your nutrition. Look what you're eating. You know, look at the food that you're consuming. Look at what you're shoving down the throat. Now, you know, discard the crap and actually start feeding real, real food you know, that the Mother Earth uh, gives us. But that's the easiest way to lose a lot of fat is to eat fucking well. Um, that was vlog number six, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Uncle Mastrace I'm the founder of PowerTheHabits.com. And if you're watching this, I answer people's question on what is the single most, you know, biggest health and fitness related challenge, you know, they are facing. And there's a link below. There's a survey you can take it, and I'm gonna answer your question just like this in another video. And uh, thank you for watching, my guys. Take care.